What's up, everybody? Tim here at Higgs Garage. We are working on the Grizzly, uh, working on video for you guys on what we're doing on this. You can kind of tell uh, we have the, the top end and the side of the motor off. So I wanted to show you guys something that I found was pretty interesting. Um, mostly work on cars, so I don't see anything like this, but this may be something common that's on quads and stuff like that with a pull start. So this is the the cam sprocket it goes on the end of the cam here it's hard to do with one hand in filming so this cam rides inside of our let's see here there we go like in the top of our, our engine on our head right and this sprocket attaches to the cam and runs our timing chain which also runs off the crank so you can see here, they have these little spring-loaded things and these little covers go on either side like so. And then those two bolt holes are what run on here. You can see these two tabs that this moves. Those ride inside of that hole and that hole. And when it's pull started, those open up and move this, which then moves, see that pin right there? Moves up and down. And what that does is it cracks the valve open to decompress it so that I guess the, the starter recoil isn't so hard to pull. So I found that pretty cool, pretty interesting. I also was looking at the top here with these rocker arms and you can see this top one right here has this groove in it. So I'm probably gonna look into get, replacing that arm and I did not understand where that groove came from. Well, our quad was backfiring a lot and acting really weird. And come to find out that pin when that sticks up it hits and that's where it pushes that valve open to relieve that pressure. So that is probably something that had something to do with it. So this bike, when we tore it down, it did have a new piston in it and some gasket maker and all kinds of weird stuff was going on. So I'm betting somebody did some work to it and if this is, I believe it's 180 degrees out, that pin will stick up like that, and it's constantly cracking that valve open. So it would seem like your valve was not seating, because it wouldn't be. So I think that that might have been part of our problem. So I wanted to share that with you guys real quick in a short video. You can see on well, the top of our piston, I, I wiped it off, but it's got a little bit of carbon buildup, but the side of that jug was off and the piston, it looks brand new. Um, so it was, I don't know. I don't know what somebody was doing. The valve guides looked old and worn. The time, Not too bad, but they were worn a little bit. The timing chain had a little bit of stretch to it. So all this stuff is new. It'll be in a video coming out. Uh, I'm having a really heck of a time filming this video for you guys. Everything has been fighting me from parts to the bike. So it's kind of been delayed, but I wanted to share that with you, get a little bit of a video out and share that with you guys, how I thought that was pretty cool, how that works. So, I mean, this bike's a 600, so pulling on it with that big piston in there does create a lot of compression. And I pulled started it, this bike before and it is kind of a pain. So finding out that that's what that was, was kind of cool. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Just wanted to share that with you guys and be on the lookout for this video when it comes out. It has, like I said, been a pain, but working, trying to work hard at getting it out for you guys so you guys can see what we did with this. We want to get it out. And as you guys have seen some of our new shorts, Timmy has been out ripping his little quad. I really want to get mine done so that I can take him out and we can have like a little guy's time out and go for a ride for a day. So be on the lookout and thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.